It's showtime, baby. Let's go. Woo! This is Sports with Strawberry Ice. I'm here to man Jeff Trenopole. And as always, I bring you sports from a west side point of view right here in the great city of Cincinnati, Ohio. Home of some of the best fans around. What's up? If you found the show, do me a favor. Hit that like and subscribe button. Smash that thumbs up. You guys are awesome. I am live streaming on ZTV Online, YouTube, Facebook, X, Rumble. And if you're listening to it on a podcast, what's up? It's on BeatPod, Apple, iTunes, Spotify, Google, Stitcher Play, pretty much wherever you get your podcast. Please make sure you rate, like, and review. And if you've not checked out the best barbecue joint in the city, it is Midwest Best Barbecue. Go check them out. Go get you some CTB wings. Get you some Uno wings. Check out their pulled pork sandwiches. It is awesome. And if you have not been to my favorite bar in the West Side, in Chevois, as we've said, you know, a little Chevois, you got to sound a little, you know, you know fancy, but Chevy. Hell Marys. Go check out Hell Marys. They got great beer specials there. They got a big ass big uh, big screen TV there. Go watch all your college basketball games and all that stuff. And check out Meyer Dorm Windows. I got them in my house. They're easy to clean. They look great. They get your uh, heating and air conditioning bills lower, which is always a good thing. So make sure you go check out Meyer Door and Windows. What is up to everybody in the chat? Who's in there first? Strangers in the first. Brad's in there. Rock and Bengal. Robert. Austin. What is going on? I am back from vacation. I missed you guys. So, this week is huge. We got the Reds opening day coming up. I am doing a live show that I'm very excited about. And I hope you guys can join me. It's going to be right outside in front of the Moorland House. I want that area packed. I want as many people as we can fit in that area, it's got a bar there. It's right outside the ballpark. It's going to be a great time. We're getting ready for the Reds. They're going to go on their playoff run this year. We're going to be giving away all kinds of stuff. Come join us. Have some fun outside Moorline House. Anyway, let's get to this thing. Let's get to one of the guys I've been trying to get on the show for a very long time. He's a good buddy of mine. He's a local businessman. He's my friend. He's your friend. He's Cameron Means. <laughs> I'm on. Means, what's going on, man? What's happening? How you feeling? Uh-oh. Good, man. Good, man. How are you? I'm good. Can you hear me? I can hear you now. You're all good. Let's get to... Now, I, I posted this earlier. I said the all-time leading rusher in Bengals history, which is facts. But he's also the greatest running back in Bengals history. So he kind of he you know, kind of tweaked me on that. So I, I got to make sure I do it right. So the greatest running back in Bengals history he is Corey. Mother bleep it, Dylan. Corey, what is up, my brother? What it do, fam? Me, hey. what's good? What's hey, good? nice jacket. I, I got a jacket just like that. What's hey, good, you know fam? What? You know what? I got to correct you sometimes, Playboy, because you know what? <laughs> hey. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, hey it's, you got to get I, that verbiage right with I, me, bro. Some, sometimes sometimes right. I mess up. I, sometimes I speak a, a little out of turn. My, my fault. You guys. I know. Badger, I, you know. Badger. Hey, that's what friends are for, man. I got I to. Gotta, you got to sing it already. That's what friends are for. Oh, Lord. Oh. Keep your day job, brother. <laughs> Keep it. Keep it, uh, man. That's why you always keep me singing, man. You always keep me singing. So, all right, yeah. memes. Let, let's talk a little bit about Black Owned here. Cause I know you cannot stay on too long. You got to go to your, your son's uh, basketball game or baseball game. I can't remember what you said it was. But it's hoop season. Hoop, it's hoop season, season, baby. You want to know something crazy? I don't know any up? much about basketball, but my son is really into it. So, That's I'm awesome. learning with him. Can, can he dunk yet? Does he have the memes athleticism? 
he he can't dunk yet. I mean, he's six. But <laughs> hey, what I will say, <laughs> he's, he's he's really he's really tall though. He's a tall six. He's a tall six. He gets there mistaken for eight all the time. There so I'm pretty go. sure he'll dunk. I I wasn't. Oh. I never. I never could dunk. But he'll dunk for sure. I never could. I could, I could dunk. I could dunk a, a tennis ball or. A, Mini, but my hands are never big enough. I couldn't pop. I had a, I had a cup the ball, so I, I couldn't jump high enough to do that. Anyway, he has got his technical issue, issues uh, figured out here. Let's get to my favorite captain. I hope your favorite captain. He's Bengals captain. Cap, what up? Can you hear me? Well, yes, we can hear you. There Loud you and clear. Cap, what Loud do you do? I'll tell you what, that is not my fault. That was StreamYard then, because StreamYard said my audio wasn't working. I've been freaking out for the oh. last 10 minutes. Dude, StreamYard, since I took a week off, it, it made me redo everything. I had to, I had to sign back up and everything. I, I don't know what's going on. It's, 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 I don't know. Anyway. I didn't know. I didn't know Macho Means himself was going to be on here. Macho I, hold on, hold Means. <laughs> the man, the myth, the legend. All right. So, so, Means. Let me let me let's talk a little black owned here. I know, like I said, you. I knew I should have grabbed my jacket. My, yeah. Where the hell's my? Yeah. My now, 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 there. About All right. Just all right. No. Hold on, just hold know on. How oh, quick serious. I did that. Oh, that you guys this keep talking. I will get mine. Hey, hey, that lets you know how serious it is. What's up, Cap? You know you my boy. What's good? Yeah, what's good? What's good? How you feeling? Great. Good to see you, man. I hey, y'all, we beanie. Can, Hey, Iceman is gone. We could take over the show right now. What y'all want to do? <laughs> uh, oh, he's here. Uh, uh, there you go. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, now I'm ready. Now I got my jacket on. We're ready to go now. Oh, no, nah, this this it yeah. right here. Yeah. Snap a, hey. take a screenshot, man. There you go. There you go, baby. <laughs> Let me pop my collar one time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there we go. Uh, all right, Meme. So go. what is going on with the NFL licensing? I, I did see Bengal Jim say something about it might be ending sometime soon. So if people want to get their Bengal stuff, it's, you got a certain amount of time, right? Yeah, for sure, man. Like it's, We're coming up on the last 30 days of our NFL license. As you know, uh, nothing lasts forever. Even right. the Bengals collab with the best clothing brand in the city. Right. So um, our, our license is ending in 30 days. I think April 12th is the last day officially. Um, so we're not, we don't have a full 30 days as of now. But, you know, it was a beautiful experience, beautiful collab. As you can see, everybody on this call from different walks of life. We, this, this was our, this was our uh, unity call. So um, in 30 days, We'll no longer have the NFL license, so we do have some inventory. It's exclusive. Like, it's not the stuff you see online or at the, even at the pro shop. So if you want to get it, you still have 30 days to get it. And the best part is, is once it's gone, it's gone forever. So that day, I feel like the pieces become even more exclusive. Exactly. They become collector's items, man. And it's, and it's yeah. well-made stuff, too, dude. I mean, I, I love all the detail you did with the, with the helmets down here. And, and on the inside, you got the uh, Bengal. On the black side, you got the bangle embroidered. It, it's it, dude. It's these are badass. I, I remember these. Well, not these kind, of, but we had the starter coat. So that's kind of what this reminds me of. Back in the day, I had the bangle starter coat. That's what this always reminds me of. It's it's cool. I, I know Corey. Corey enjoyed his that uh, that he was he got when he was oh, here. Dude, man, I'm I'm gonna tell you what, man. Let me let me walk you guys through the story, man. So, actually coming to the black owned shop, that was my first time back in Cincinnati in a long time. So. I gotta give just shots out and, and commend my guy means for you know showing me love, man, and hooking me up with this this awesome gear, dude. This is exclusive, dude. I'm not even hey man, I don't blow smoke up people's asses, bro. I, I keep it, I keep it a hundred, man. And this is yeah. some dope apparel. So I'm urging, I'm urging everybody, everybody in Cincinnati, man. You know where the shop is. If I if I'm not mistaken, is it eight two two um Elm Street? Elm Street. Yeah, man. I'll get down there, man, to get that exclusive, man. This I rocks this, and I'm proud of rocking it. You know what I mean? That's so, what's up. And I appreciate me to go show you love if you come to the shop like he showed me love and get some exclusive stuff, man. And hell, you'll yeah. stop by next door and get you, get you some coffee too from from uh, Black Coffee over there. <laughs> Absolutely, it's not every day you get that kind of compliment from the greatest running back to ever play for the Bengals. So, thank you, Corey. I appreciate you, man. I really do. Thank no, you. brother, I, I thank you more, man. Look, man, this is 
I rock with you, brother. Whatever you're doing, man, I'm rocking with you. I, I love it. I love it. I love it. Yep. I love your setup. I love what you're doing for the city, man. And your apparel is like, man, A1. So, yep. Absolutely. That's this whole thing. Because that, that day was a blast. Oh, right. Between right. texting means and hearing him come, like just, just trying to coordinate everything and trying to keep it, you know, hush. Oh, that was a blast. That was yeah, it was it was it was it was stressful for me. I'm like, we gotta go to the store just for no reason at all, Corey. Just come and show up. That we're not we're not giving you anything or anything like that. <laughs> I'll try to keep it on the down low of where we were going. He's like, What are we gonna, we gotta do well? Just just come on, it'll, it'll be fine. You'll like it, you'll like it. <laughs> so it was oh, I enjoyed it. it. Was I enjoyed it, trust me. <laughs> yeah. I also yeah, like yeah. the uh, the UC gear too. So if you're a Bearcat fan like me, you, you got uh Bearcat stuff there. I love the varsity jackets. You still got that stuff down there too, right, Memes? Absolutely. We still got our Bearcats collab going. Uh, over the weekend, had a chance to run in with Kenyon Martin, a Bearcat legend. Oh, That's yeah. Uh, he he had on his varsity jacket. I mean, nice. yeah. So, you know, like this Bengals collab, like for our brand, that's what we envision for ourselves, you know, becoming better collaborators and showing our city how what collaboration can do, right? Like, look at all of us now connected through this collaboration. And mm -hmm. to be honest, I don't think if we didn't if we didn't have the collaboration, we don't have this moment. We're not on the podcast like this. We're not we're not bonded like this. We got each other in, in whatever capacity, and that's that's important. So, the Bengals collab opened the door for other collaborations like our FC collab, uh, but most recently the UC collab. And I'm really proud of that one because, you know, Bearcats is bigger than just football. So mm -hmm. the audience is a little wider. We could do more. And uh, the license is over a period of three to five years, like a three year period with a two year option, which is a little more, you know, better. For, it's better for us to work with. The NFL mm -hmm. license is one year at a time. You spend a lot of money on it, and who knows what happens. <laughs> All right. Well, it's been worth it. Now, uh, Brad here's got a question for just your sizes in, in general. He said, can you get a, a larger sizes in the Bearcat gear? Oh, man. So I that size you need because I'm pretty big, and I fit in it. <laughs> so we go up to 4X at the moment. Um, that's, as, that's as big as we go for now. But, you know, if there's a demand for it, at some point we maybe can scale a little, a little bit. We want to we want to have a brand as encompassing. So, right now though, you know the 4x is the biggest size that we have. I think that's, I think that's what I ended up getting because I had a 3x. I'm like, eh, you're like, ah, oh, they run a little 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 tight. You're like, you're like, not that you're fat or anything, but you, you might you're a little husky. You might need a big a bigger size. Now, I'm like, all right. <laughs> you were eating Gold Star that day. Or <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe, maybe it's Skyline now, right? Yeah, exactly. He's Sky. I don't eat, I don't eat Gold Star. I like Skyline. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Hey, I think uh, at some point you, you got to turn the jacket around. Oh, I can I can do that. I can do it now. Hold on. Ahead, to you to your point, means like the the clothing is absolutely amazing. So you know when I go to a, a rap concert in Cincy, and the locals come up to me asking me where I got this. I, this is what I was wearing. You know, recent. I'm yep. like, that's street cred. <laughs> that's street cred that I don't normally get. Right. I'm you like, get there all street go. cred you can get. Yeah, yeah, so I told I, him about you. I told him where to find it. He, I'm sure he, he's – if he hasn't already hit you up, he will be hitting you up. But to, to get to know you means you are a phenomenal dude. A lot of people you, who aren't familiar with the brand may have missed, but uh, I watch it on Instagram. Uh, means had given out scholarship money for yeah, yeah for local kids, and, and it wasn't a uh, widely advertised thing. It was all through his network and everybody that loved black owned and absolutely phenomenal like the type of stuff that you know everybody's trying to get clout here that no means it's just out there trying to do good for the community so yeah. it, it, i am i am blessed to know you oh for yeah, sure bro it's hey, an Jimmy's honor a good person brother real talk. I'm from, you know i'm a cincinnati native my job is that you know make cincinnati a better place i think i found the right field to do that in i love clothing i love the culture so this just gave me an opportunity to do what I love, but in a in a in a fancy way, I guess, in a very special way. I I, I would be getting dressed every day with the best threads anyway, so I might as well be making something that has a, have a little impact. Well, yeah, man. That's, I, that's I like all your stuff because, like you said, it's it's Cincinnati based, 
And that's and if you guys ever watch me, I love Cincinnati. And I always say it's the greatest city in the world. So anything you got that says Cincinnati or from Cincinnati that's made here by somebody who's designed it, I'm down for it. I'm like, and this stuff is like, like I said, once these are gone, they're gone. And that's what's cool. I mean, that's what's kind of cool about this. Like, you know, you get these these jackets or the the UC varsity jackets. Once they're gone, they're gone, dude. And like, it's it's. Right. I mean, collectors items. I mean, it means you're you're creating collectors items, dude. Seriously. Yeah, and from my understanding, we're the first black brand that the Bengals have partnered with. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I know that's probably not the only reason why we got it, but I think that says a lot about the Cincinnati Bengals mm -hmm. and the history, right? And 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 where they want to be. And there's always work to be done, but I think the collaboration with Black On was a big step in the right direction, um, especially our name is Black On. It's not just supporting the Black owned business. It's right there in your face. Mm -hmm. So there's no mystery, you know, about, you know, what we're about. We are about being inspiration, being representation for our community. But we've opened the door up with these kind of collaborations for other people like Cap, like yourself, to support what we're doing. Um, because you, too, can believe that you know, black businesses, black spaces, black creatives, black collaboration is important, even though you're not a black person. So I think with this collab, man, we just, everything that we set out to do, I will honestly say we did that, except for make a lot of money. Um, even though, you know, it's supposed to be meaningful, we want to make money too. The, but, yeah, that's the name of the game, man. I, a wise yeah. man told me one time, if it doesn't make dollars, it doesn't make sense. Absolutely. But <laughs> the feeling was so big. The feeling, the feeling paused. The feeling was so special around this collaboration, though, that you kind of just forget that piece. And right, I think right. we've we've done some pretty amazing things like that come out of this that we have, you know, had that kind of impact on on the bottom line. So I, I just get excited about when I see people out in the city who I don't know rocking the clothes and they're proud. They're like, yeah. Well, it's it's funny when you see somebody who has the same jacket. I, I were at the uh, movie theaters a, uh, a couple of weeks ago or whatever. And this girl had the jacket on, and I'm wearing mine. I'm going, "Hey, nice jacket!" She's, yeah, and it's less like that that connection. Like, oh, you got the same thing. All right, I, I got it. You know, it's just that's just a cool thing that if you got the jacket, you got the jacket. If you don't, sorry. <laughs> to, exactly. to Means' point that the the company is black owned. I cannot tell you, I've had at least a handful of really meaningful conversations about what that means when other white guys come up to me and ask me where I got this. The, the look on some people's face when I say, oh, it's black <laughs> owned, like, I'm not, I'm not saying like it's owned, but I'm, that's the name that's of the name company. Of the business. <laughs> and then it goes into a conversation about what it means for me to, to support yeah. that because it, it, it's so difficult. There, it's so often uh, people will overlook, uh, you know, black owned businesses and, and there are, there are roadblocks. There are, you know, whether it's uh, uh, institutional, historical, you know, there are challenges too. I understand that. And it's, it's great to have the ability to spread the word just through the name. Yep. Absolutely. No, man, that's spot on. I love that. But but yeah, there are challenges. But with our brand, we're opening that door for other brands to follow behind us. Like we're showing, you know, bigger corporations what that experience can be by collaborating with a smaller black owned business. And I think the Bengals get it. Like, I think they they understand the type of impact that this kind of collaboration has brought. Some of the Bengals' most proud fans have all let it be known that this was something that was meaningful to them as a fan. And it wasn't about black or white. Uh, it, it was more so about the Bengals um, taking, that, taking that step forward and feeling more like an inclusive environment. And we, we did that. So well, the thing we keep talking about here in the last couple of years with the Bengals of how they've changed. This, this goes to show how they, they've changed and they're, they're – they're opening new doors for for people like you, uh, you know, to, to get your name out there. I mean, because yep. honest, memes, I wouldn't have known who you were if I didn't know about these jackets. I, I'll be honest, yep. I wouldn't have known. I'm glad I had. I sure as hell wouldn't have got to meet you, which I'm, I'm glad as hell I got to meet you too. So I mean, that's that's what's cool about all this stuff that they've changed and things are are, are changing in general in in this world. Yep, things are changing, and I want to 
shout out Elizabeth Blackburn because that's who I work with directly on this entire campaign and the love and concern and care that she's handled this project with uh, will never be forgotten. And we've become good friends because of this. You know, like I just, I grew up in a household where my mom was a, a really, really big Bengals fan. And so we got it, we got it naturally. We got it honest as we say. But I also know my mom was a, a fan that was a fan from a distance. She had no other connection to the Bengals other than the players that look like her and being from the city of Cincinnati. But to be able to say it's deeper than just sports now, it's it's family. So mm -hmm. I feel like the Bengals will always be my family, specifically Elizabeth and her mom, Katie, who you know made this happen. So uh, shout out to my guys over at Mortar too. My guy, Alan, because they they made the introduction. Um, I got on a call with Elizabeth and it was like it was a hit right off the bat. And from there, the rest is history. She got she set up a call for me to talk to some of the players. I think it might have been 20 players on a call at the time. Oh, nice. Yeah. And she she so this is I, I love to tell this story because I asked Elizabeth, like, you think you the, these kind of collaborations don't work unless you have the validity piece, which means either the team, um, the organization is saying we we are doing this with black on or the players, which is mm -hmm. top tier saying right. we support this. We're wearing this because that's what you need in this fashion realm. You need the validity piece, not just the good quality and design. So I, I asked Elizabeth if she could give me the players and she was like, I can't do that. But what I think I can do is get you on a call with them and you could try to pitch them. So I was nervous as hell on the call and I was in the back room. I'm like, I'm, these guys are younger than me. Why am I nervous? <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I was nervous though, you know, because it's it's like, here it is with my baby that I've been growing at that time. It was about seven years and this was going to be our biggest opportunity yet. And I wanted to make sure that they got what I was saying about why it was important for them to support it. So I gave them about a 10 minute spill on what stripes don't come easy meant, which was something that I came up with and the Bengals supported. And they were down for that because I think in their mind, they were ready to turn the corner too as being that team that was always a losing team. But stripes don't come easy being the forward path of saying, like, we put in the work and now we're going to be a winning team. And we're not just we're not just, um, you know, we're not just players showing up on the field. We're going to show up in the Cincinnati community. And the first as soon as I was done pitching, the first person that said they was in was Joe Burrow. Yeah, baby. And, and I knew from that moment that my, my relationship with the Cincinnati Bengals had deepened right then. And uh, Joe said he was in. And then a couple other guys started to say they were in. Before you know it, we had like seven guys, eight guys that were like, I'm down. So we ended up doing a photo shoot with seven of those guys, and Joe Burrow wasn't one of them. <laughs> <laughs> but there's a kick to that. So he ended up getting injured before we could do the photo shoot. Oh, wow. Right? And wow. so we're like, well, Joe, we still need you because you being hurt is really the epitome of stripes don't come easy. You're gonna go through things, but as a professional, I think he he were like he was he was focused on healing, getting better. Right. And a whole year later, we hadn't talked to Joe Burrow. I still haven't met Joe Burrow to this day, by the way. So he's worn black on on TV about five times. And still never met him. And uh, but a whole year later, he ends up putting on the black on jacket after mm -hmm. we kicked the bank uh the Steelers' ass. Oh, yeah, excuse baby. my language. Nah, you can fuck the Steelers. I don't care. You can say it. We, all right, we kicked yeah. the Steelers' ass. I, yeah. was, I was so happy. I was I was at – that was one of those games. <laughs> I was at home watching it with my son. Someone uh, texts me and say, do you see Joe Burrow right now? I'm like, nah. I get online. He's on, with the jacket. And the next day, like, I mean, the dude. website was going crazy. Dude, Be you had and, me freaking out with him wearing I, that jacket. It was crazy. <laughs> and then in the interview, somebody asked, why did you wear the jacket? And, you know, he, he mentioned that he had made us a promise that he didn't hold up. So he was just coming back around to it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, so, yeah, we hit the jackpot with Joy, as you would say. Yeah, and, baby. Uh, he showed us major love. And then, you know, we had uh, Tyler Boyd. We had Von Bell, who left and came back 
So yep. that worked out. But yeah, man, it's it's been one of those experiences that I'll never forget. And I think this is the beginning story when I when I start to talk about some of these bigger opportunities that we're securing. I think it all started right here in a, in, a, in the belly of Cincinnati. So when you were a kid, did you ever think you designed something that the uh, Bengals quarterback would be wearing and um, this guy down here would be wearing, you know, uh, you know that future guy right Hall there. Future Hall of Famer. Future uh, Should be in the Hall of Famer already. You know, no. I mean, that, 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 that right there, it's got to blow your mind right there, I would think. It's out of this world, man. You know, growing up as a kid, I thought I would be in the NFL. And, and as you continue to play in high school, you realize that that, that space is reserved for the best of the best. And I didn't make it to the NFL, so I never made it to my, my dream, right? right but, right. like, <clears throat> I was able to see my dream in another way. Like, it wasn't realized on the field, but I still partnered with an NFL team and the NFL. And that's just God working his miracles in, in crazy ways. But, yeah, I mean, as a kid, never would have imagined that I would be doing what I'm doing right now, which is bringing people together through clothing that has a deeper story attached to it. So <clears throat> I wanted to be an athlete. I wanted to be in the NFL. I used to, you know, we we watched Corey Dillon run the ball and try to mimic and do the things that he did as a high school student playing football. So these moments are surreal, but it's also now I'm starting to stand in it and say, this is what we set out to do and it's happening. So right. thank you. Thank you for supporting, Corey. Thank you to Joe Burrow if you ever no see problem, this and the rest of the guys no over no there. Oh, yeah. Jackpot I, watches the show all the time. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, I was just I, looking I, up I, the text <laughs> when, when I told you that Corey was going to swing by and pick up some gear. And you, you said that like you, you used to try to run like him. Come on, man. Like, <laughs> man, that's he the best. Stuff. He did he the best. <laughs> he really did that work. Like, you know, Corey Dillon was, that was a time. Like, we were trash, but we had a good run. We had, we had Corey, we had Willie. That was, I mean, that's all we had. Exciting hey, as hell, I, I, no matter I'm what. The true, I'm the true definition of earning them stripes, brother. So, no, for sure. Absolutely. There it is. Absolutely. Yeah. There it for is. For sure, man. It's a good time to be in Cincinnati right now, though. I feel they say that uh, Mark Twain said if the world ends today, it'll end seven years later in Cincinnati. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and and I always laugh at that because some people see that as a negative, but my job in life is to pull positive out of everything. Right. So what that means is everybody else wave has already been created and it's been it's it's already um, it's in place. But here in Cincinnati, we still mold in what we want our city to be. So I still think we have time to, you know, mold what we want Cincinnati to look like, what we want it to feel like. And uh, because we are late. We get to look at what the rest of the world has already done and make it better. So Cincinnati is the best place to be um, anywhere in the world right now from an art standpoint, from a sports standpoint, just from an overall community. Even the cost of living is good in the city. So, I mean, you don't really get a city like Cincinnati and, um, without the challenges that we face throughout the years. Right? That's why a lot of people are moving here too. Eric, Corey, you, you like this comment from Kane. He said, I used to try to stiff arm like CD. My dad used to have me watch him. He was my favorite Bengal player of all time and uh, his favorite player of all time and mine too. Man, that's what's up, man. Much much love to you and your pops, bro. I mean, I was just out there working, brother. Nothing new. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm old school, put on my hard hat and try to go out there and get a win any way possible. So I re I respect I respect those who love me, man, and and I appreciate it. Appreciate the love. Absolutely, memes. You got to go because you got to get to your kids' basketball game, or you got time, or you got to. If you got to go, I'll let, yeah, you, I, I'll let you roll. I got like five more minutes, man. I, All right, I told cool. them I'll be there by six twenty, so it's about fifteen minutes from here. All right, I'm cool. Good. Okay. So a couple, couple people asked in the chat. The jackets come in four X. So <laughs> that, that, that same question has been asked a couple different times in the chat. So you can go down to Black Island. You can get. These jackets, you can get the uh, Bearcat varsity jackets, and he's got a whole bunch of other clothes down there, too, that are all awesome looking, too. So right. go down there and make sure if you're, like I said, if I can fit into it, anybody can fit into it. I'm, I'm, I got I'm two through. questions, though. <laughs> so the, the beanie is exactly what I was hoping for. Mm, so I even, like that. even once the, <laughs> the official stuff moves on, I want to know number one, are we still going to see some amazing Tiger themed stuff? Uh, hopefully, we didn't. We didn't lose it. Oh, there he is. There he's back. Are we going to still see Tiger themes going forward? And then number two, 
these stripes on the shoulder. Wait, is there any way Corey could use those for something later? He can't. He can't hear us. Oh, he might have to. He might have to. Somebody called him. It's a Corey uh -oh. Dillon thing. Yeah, it's, yeah. He's it's somebody iPhone. called him. Somebody called hey, him. Hey, brother, I put mine on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I put them on I silent. Learned. I'm learning. <laughs> we'll wait. He'll be back. Uh, I will have to. Hey, man, that's a good. That's a good right. one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You back? All right. I'm sorry about that. I heard something about the hat, and then the sound went out. So yeah. So uh, do we get to see more of the Tiger theme stuff going forward? Even though the official licensing is gone, and since these stripes are so great, uh, can you talk to Corey about a little licensing for something he might want to work on? So some, some Corey Dillon uh, merchandise. Yeah, let's get yes. some like, let's let's get some some OG legendary stuff for him, brother. Yeah, hey, that would be nice, actually, Corey. We did some number twenty eight stuff. Mm -hmm. oh. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Hey, don't play. Hey, man, don't play with my emotions, bro. Come on. Oh, man. I got goosebumps. Go. I'm, yeah, I'm ready. I'm in. I'm in. Yeah, on that. we should. We should. I would love to work on something like that. As and that that could be a a spinoff of what we did with the Bengals. Mm -hmm. And yeah. and and to your point, Cap. Yeah, we just the NFL licensing stuff is a a bit more aggressive and what it costs to do it. Um, for yeah. us. Right. I think later down the line, maybe it may work with our strategy. But right now, we're moving into People the inspired by. Oh, I looked at it, and and we're talking hurdles, and mm -hmm. and even even though they opened it up to more people, uh, like somewhat recently, there are a lot of people that said no because it, it's hard. They take a lot out, which wow. hey, that's their brand. But yep, ooh. Yeah, I think they take a lot out. Be, um, and I'm going to say this on publicly because that's my job to do it. Uh, <laughs> I think the NFL right now is still in that mode of like, hey, we're lending you our logo. We're adding value to you, right? Mm -hmm. Which is 1,000% correct. They've done right. a great job over all mm -hmm. these years building up the NFL. Well, where the opportunity is, is brands like ours, we add that 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 underground flavor that's necessary for a big brand to maintain that relevance because we're down here in the city, in the streets, we're building these kind of collabs that are a little more special. So what happens is a lot of these corporations, they get out of touch because they don't work with the companies that are in the community. You think about like what Nike is going through right now with their trying to work through their decline. Who would have ever thought Nike would report a, you know, a, a decline in sales. So, I think there's huge opportunity for the NFL to figure that out so that the collaboration piece does work for smaller businesses. That's that part. But then in terms of inspired by, I think now that we know we have a customer for it, we're working on more stuff like what I'm wearing now is to have our pieces that look like the stripes don't come easy, feels like it, but it's not branded by the NFL. And right. just to be clear, we design all of this ourselves. The NFL had no input on our designs, on the name of the collaboration, what it would be, any of that. That's all on the business to produce. And then the NFL comes in and say, OK, we're, we're good with this. And this is the contract that we work under. But like, okay, we'll let you use our name and stuff. You work on everything else, and then you just pay us. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what, what the NFL that's, did. That's, yeah. that's exactly how it works. But yeah. we're paying. But what I will say is, I mean, there's so many people now that know about our brand that would have never known about our brand if it wasn't for this collaboration with the NFL and the oh, Cincinnati exactly. Bengals. So I, it, it's it's that, what, what do you call it? You know, it's the gift and a curse type of situation. The gift right. is that mm -hmm. now we have so many more people who are aware of our brand. The curse is it just costs you too much to get that that awareness. <laughs> yeah, wow. So Rebecca, said, Rebecca you, said she she didn't know we had uniforms. So you see, you go down to black owned and you can have these jackets and so you can look as cool as we are. <laughs> man, I'm glad. I'm glad I got mine, brother. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. And I'm glad you sent it to me in the 2X. It inspired me to stay a little thin. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> <laughs> Chad, see these trying to stay in somewhat game shape a little bit, you know, because one of these days we're we're gonna bust him out, bust him out out, out, out on the field and he's gonna, you know. Man, I ain't gonna get you a half a yard. You better stop. <laughs> that ain't gonna work, brother. He's gonna be like hey. the, the, the Pepsi commercial where we got, we got one left. And Corey's like, I ain't got nothing left. I'm done. I ain't got nothing in the tank, man. I'm done. <laughs> so from here, man, we got we got 30 days to do this. A little less right. than 30 days, and I think we could do it. 
I think we can do it. The inventory that we have, we want to finish strong. So we will finish this license out really strong and we'll come back to it later down the line. And then as far as us, Corey, we really should think about um, working on something because it should, if, in my mind, I think it should release around the season. So uh, um, and you already some, know you, mm-hmm, man, mm-hmm. yeah, man, you got my numbers, man. And, and yep. we need to chop it up, man. And, and hopefully if everything go well, I think what we put together will, will, will pop seriously. Yeah. Yeah, I, I've got it on my to-do list to text y'all both about this. Okay. And there I'm so be. glad this show happened today because I've been in my head, I can see it. I just yep. oh yeah, I've, I've been being the time to t- get you and Matty Myers together, and I keep forgetting to get that. Means is everything video. line up properly, brother. We, hey, bro. We, we, there you we go. Can do some big things, man. Honestly. Yeah, for sure. I'm excited we, about it. Yeah, I'm thinking of it. So I'm I'm already thinking about the imagery, dog. But we we'll work through all the big details and then right. we'll push that out. I know the city would love that. That would be I think that would feel like a natural role, like a thing that roll into from the stripes don't come easy to a collab with Corey Dillon could be fire. Le- the legendary sure. twenty eight. Just, yes. just pick the credit card. I'm gonna hand them all over. Captain's <laughs> <laughs> like, pick one. I'm yeah, in. Yeah, there's plenty of them. Here, just take one. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Tab open. <laughs> yep. Oh man. Yep. Oh man. Well, I'm yeah. definitely looking forward to that. We got, we got, we got something to see. Look, see, I, I told you good things happen. You come on my show. <laughs> Absolutely, man. And I, I want to come back. You know, I want to come back. Mondays are like a meeting. We meet, our team meets on Mondays, and now my son is in basketball. His first day mm-hmm. was today, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. But we can pick a nut Tuesday, Thursday. Or is it always on Monday? I guess well, so. Well, the show, the show is every day, Monday through Friday. These two are on every Monday with me. So, oh, you're busy with this show every I'm day? A, I'm, I'm every day at 530, man. And, well, well, not Saturday and Sunday, but Monday through Friday at uh, 530. So, yeah. What if something comes up? What do you do? Um. I don't know. I usually, uh, I haven't had, well, there's been times I've had to cancel the show. Something came up, <laughs> but okay. mo- most often I can, I can work around it most of the time. So, That's we'll what's but, hey, if you're, if you're down, if you're around for opening day down there, uh, about one, around one o'clock to three, I'll be doing a live show right outside the Moorline house. Yeah. So send should, me that. I'll be down there kicking you it. Should, you should stop on by we'll right, <laughs> right out front. I'll be right out front. We have to drink some beers cheer on the reds have some fun we might i work on some things like i might have special guests showing up if they actually show up we'll see that's why i'm not actually going to say who they are because i don't know if they're actually going to show up or not but it's gonna be it'd be a good time be down there for about two hours well if the special special guests don't show up then i could just be a special guest I, hey if you and you, i just you, you, you show up I'll, I'll make you the special special guest i'll put you right front and center <laughs> i drink i drink takisha by the way takisha no beer no that beer works there it is. Well, I'll, I'll drink all the beer for you. <laughs> You're gonna need a bigger size than that jacket, bro. I know. I know exactly. That's what I'm, I'm, I drink diet beer, man. Oh, <laughs> all right. Well, then you're good at working. Bro. <laughs> yeah, all right, memes. I'll let you go on that, man. I appreciate you. Go, go watch your son play basketball, man. And hey, I appreciate right. you coming on. Appreciate everything you, you've done. Go, go down Black Owned. Buy some of these jackets before they run out. Absolutely. And like I said, we got the UC uh, uh, varsity jackets down there. You got hopefully someday you get some, get some red stuff down there too. That'd be cool. But eventually, man. Well, eventually, thanks, we'll Jeff, go. for having me. Thank you very much. Thanks, Corey. Thank Cat. Thanks, no problem, Kat. brother. Appreciate you guys, man. Y'all enjoy the rest of the show. Continue. All so right, brother. You got my number. Hit me up. Yes, sir. Peace and thank you. No, thank no you. See All right. I'm so happy about that, dude. That's uh, dude, dude. You're gonna have your line of show close, Corey. That's one cool ass dude, brother. Yeah. I mean, wow. Yeah, he is. Wow, man. If you if you guys can't pull together and support that guy, man, something's wrong with you, man. So, yeah. I mean, meeting him for the first time, the vibe was was amazing, dude. He about it's tackles a genuine you. Genuine good dude. You know what I mean? So. Hell yeah, I, I would I, I would do everything in my power to support him, man. Dude, that's I, that's what it is. I remember because I was in front of you, and I opened the door and made you walk in first, and he's like, "There he is!" And you cheered, doing all this. <laughs> I'm like, "Damn, they're gonna tackle each other right now!" <laughs> so excited to see you. Nah, man, it was it was a it was a great experience, and I didn't I didn't expect that, man. I didn't. Know I know you did. Now we're trying to keep I didn't it know secret. Where we were going. <laughs> and I was just like, man, when I walked in there and I seen I seen the fine clothes they mm-hmm. do and i was just like 
I was floored. I was like, That's damn, nice. this stuff is dope. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you, Cap. I got to take it off. I'm getting hot down here. Yeah. I, I, I love him, but man, I'm starting to sweat. Yeah. And, and I don't, that's why I, I sweat easy. I, I don't I've, want to sweat. I've been lifting and I get hotter, you know, yeah. so I'm trying I, to catch I, up to Corey. I've been, I've been, hey, hey, man, that's, that's why you, when, you, when you're doing this podcast, man, you got to sit by a fan or, or, or have a window open. Well, man. see, little, I, I got these nice know, windows. You know I, mean? I got these nice windows from my door windows, and it keeps my keeps the ice cave nice and nice and warm, almost too warm sometimes. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so sorry to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> so, Corey. Corey, did, did did you did you did you? I probably, probably can't see, but you, you hear about the tattoo thing, right? We we all got the sense. Hey, of you guys are crazy as hell! You, you got, crazy yep, you got it right there. Got it last That's, Saturday. Hey, man. Yeah, baby. Wow. Uh huh. Wow. So when you get one? <laughs> hey, man, you know what? I'm gonna get one on my neck. <laughs> there you go. Fancy <laughs> with two weight on. How about that? Hey, you go. First, first the Ring of Honor tat, and then the Hall of yeah. Fame tat. Hey, man, now we now, now we're talking. Exactly. Now we're talking. There you go. But, but I I will speak for Corey, and Corey ain't buying y'all shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he ain't giving away no free tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> Hell uh, to the no. <laughs> <laughs> Corey's hey, like, man, I like to keep my money. <laughs> hey, man, I'm definitely, hey, man, they're going for two, three hundred, four hundred a pop. What are you talking about? Yep. <laughs> yeah, they, man, they trust cheap. me, man. I'm an ink man. I know. I know this for a fact. So, so this, this is a start. This is going to be the top of it. And then the Lombardi trophy is going to go here once we win. That's what's up, yeah. bro. So that's, yeah. that's the top of it. I, where I where are you getting your uh, Corey uh, tattoo? I might, I might, that might be 20. 28 right there. I don't know. I'll figure something don't out. Don't do that, Jeff. Man, you're getting weird <laughs> on me, bro. Don't do that shit. Cat brought it up. I didn't do it. <laughs> hey, man. I, hey, man. Tattoos and uh, hey. What, what, what did he say to me one time? Something about my eyes, man. I was about to say, hey, bro. <laughs> yeah. I was about to say, oh. man, what the fuck wrong with you, Jeff? <laughs> you have very soft eyes. What? Yeah, what? Dang you. <laughs> hey, bro. Coat. Coco, Coco butter, what? <laughs> Co Coco Brown. Hey, that, that's hey Coco Brown beard, <laughs> soft eyes. I'm like, hey, man. Oh, I'm, I'm surprised you answer the phone when I call you sometimes now. <laughs> hey, man, I, hey, I'm not, I was about to say, I'm about to turn you in, bro. Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, no, I'm just, I'm just playing with you, Jeff, man. We, hey, it's all in fun, brother. But, yeah, man. Means is a good dude, man. I, I'm glad he came on the show, man. And me too. And hopefully, hopefully, the city could ra rally around and get down there and and you know what, help him reach his goals too, man. So that'd be pretty cool. Exactly, exactly. So have you guys heard the uh, the new NFL tackling rules? They got rid of which they, it's only because of Logan Wilson and because uh, a rat bird got hurt. They got rid of the uh, the drop tackle, which is freaking man, ridiculous. Uh, listen to me. Pretty soon the motherfuckers are gonna be playing flag football, bro. I'm, right. I'm just so, gonna, you gotta hit a I'm guy. Just, I'm just gonna keep it up. Here, here. Like, That's it. Really? Like, what are they gonna? What do they got to do? Just throw, throw themselves right into the ribs? All like this is this is where the target zone is now. Well, and, listen. You know what? There's so many advantages for the offense, which I love. I don't. You know, yeah. I'm offensive player, but some of these defensive players are gonna start getting hurt, bro, just because. <laughs> They're gonna be hesitant to hit somebody. Well, that they're trying to tackle that, somebody. That's, that's not gonna be that's not gonna be good. So by all these rules being added, man, you guys gotta they gotta really they gotta really think about it. Or or I mean, or give give let the players have some say so, man. Bring them in and see what you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. See what they think about this. I don't I don't think it was a really it's that bad. But how how you want somebody to tackle? So can you What's imagine? What's the proper way? What, you know what I mean? Imagine today that okay, a corner may maybe about my size. That he's part. Corey Dillon running past him. So he goes for the waist, but realizes he's too fast and too strong. And then and then what? He he slides down. He's got a he's got Corey Dillon ass helmet stuck. Yeah. Just hanging off, trailing behind, trying his best not to like swing around. Gets flagged anyway because Corey's dragging his skinny ass down the field. 
<laughs> insult to injury. Like, what? What are you gonna do? But, but these things, referees well, can't well, call. Anything. There's gonna be there's gonna be more knee injuries, Corey. I, I, they, and I, I was just get to that. Yeah, people are gonna get their knee blown out. Right. I'm telling you, I am. I'm. It's gonna get worse, man. So yeah. you eliminate one tackle, and then another uh, another way of former tackling is gonna get worse. So what yeah. the hell, bro? I'm just like. I'm, I mean, it's it's a this, violent. This game sport. is this game is getting so. So soft. Well, it's a, it's. I mean, I hate to say it, it's a violent sport, and I mean that's what you guys sign up for. I mean, you 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 know what what's happening, what the risks are we when you play this game. We know but, the risk. We know yeah, the risk. Yeah, like, like they can't. They're not going to fix this, so there's no head head injuries ever or any injuries ever. It's Man, that's freaking never football. It's not. It's, hey, bro, I don't give a damn what helmet you get. Right. It is what it is. Yeah, it's it's. I I don't. I mean, they, they, and all the new technology and everything is great. I saw something over the weekend, or while I was on vacation, that they got uh, somebody to develop a mouthpiece or whatever, where it's got a computer chip in it, and it can detect what kind of concussion you got and all this stuff. And they don't knock this. I mean, shit I, mean, I, mean <laughs> I, I mean, I mean, all that's great. I think you know, help figure out you know when you get a concussion, how to recover from it better, and all stuff. But 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 when it comes to affecting the game. We talk about the game, you know. We're affecting the game. It's and the other thing is too. This whole thing's going to come down to ref interpretation. So how that many game flags are we going to get? And they they don't know how. Right. They don't. They can't do their own job. They, they can't do it now. <laughs> We're giving them right, more, man. more things. Gonna, look at. It's going to get worse, dude. It's just going to be a lot of shit. Instant instant replay bullshits delaying up the game. So. Hey, ho- hopefully, 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 they they'll get it right this year. And you know they won't. <laughs> I'm mean, just wishful thinking, bro. I'm just like, well, shit. I mean, I I'm, trying, I'm trying. To, I'm trying to throw him a lob, man. I know. Well, I, I get I the horse collar that well, man. Okay. How are you supposed to tackle people? Right. You know what I mean? So, I mean, I get the horse collar tackle. I do. I do understand that. No, that was some bullshit. Yeah, I, I, I give him that. Yeah, but I mean, when you're tackling somebody and you drop, I mean. That's the way they teach you to tackle. I mean, you even when you tackle somebody head on, you drop. Well, you they, know, because you were going to get them down. They teach to tackle through, so they they really don't teach drop. And what kills yeah. me is there are there are two things at play for me. They right. talk about the 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 drop, the weight drop, right. but they're not saying that they the the wording to me makes me worry that they're going to flag anything where there's a weight drop mm-hmm. when if you look the really what they care about <clears throat> care about the most are the the times when somebody was able to latch on and then kind of swing their body around kind of back into the leg but right. sometimes then, that's momentum and they, they can't control that which which yeah <laughs> if you're running from left to right to tackle yeah. somebody when when the player's right. going straight, right. his momentum going straight is going to stop you, and you're going to swing around right. like a necklace on a neck. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's going to happen. Now, whether some people have like perfected a technique, you don't see it a lot, though. You don't see those types of tackles all the time, every game, multiple times a game. So it's not like it's something that people are trying to target and do for injury. It's just – that narrow situation where your man is too far out of reach to like drive through the tackle. You've got a choice to either hit him in the side of the knee or go high and just fall. And I, I mean, I, I'm oh, Corey, Lord. Corey, what'd you do? Hey man, listen, I didn't do nothing, but, uh... <laughs> Hey, hey, everybody's having technical difficulties. But Except me. you. Well, I know. Was, Look at you. What's that He's like, it's everybody else except me. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, listen, man. I was I was taught the old school way. So I actually played defense all, all the way up to junior college, man. And the way I was taught on, on tackling, man, is run through a motherfucker, man. Right. So, hey. So if you're taught that way, man, it ain't gonna be no real wrapping up or swinging or trying to shift your weight down somebody's legs, man. If you if you knock them the fuck out, they're out. You know what I mean? So that's how I was taught to hit. And 
man, man, I'm from the old school, man, where everything went, bro. It, it wasn't no fucking rules on tackling. You know what I mean? Right. So let's got it's kind of what Zach, Zach's in here. He said, do we eventually see uh, anything above or below the waist becoming a flag? I personally feel like the NFL is yet sadly another step toward flag football. Like I said, your 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 target is here. <laughs> you can't hit them here, and you don't. You guys don't want to get hit in the knees. Which I understand. Yeah, so you you got to hit him here. I mean, it's it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I'm telling you, man. Hey, people are gonna start getting their damn knee blown out mm -hmm. messing around with these rules. So, and and that's gonna suck because you know what? You start messing around with the knees, you you automatically out of there. So, I, I hope, I hope, I hope this situation doesn't escalate to a lot of blown out knees. But well, it's like the whole man, play football, the bro. Hey, well, quit, quit fucking with it. Just well, go out there is, and play football. The one I always had a hard time was they're trying to control you putting your entire weight on somebody, and that was that was more for quarterbacks. But sometimes, if you want to hit somebody and you go through them, you're going to land on them. <laughs> you know, right. all your weight. So I mean, right? How how can you not do that when you're running full speed in the NFL full speed? That's, I mean, that's, how that's how do you, you hit them and then you make your move and you jump off the side of them? That you can't do that. I mean, I don't understand. What they expect these guys to do sometimes? I don't know, bro. I, I'm just saying it's getting to a point where it's football. Football looks a little soft right now, man. And I, I don't like it. I don't like it. I like, I like the old school shit. Like man up and take that hit. Like sure. I'm gonna give you a hit. So go look at some of the hi mean? highlights back in the in the 70s and, and 80s. <laughs> man, I love that shit. That, that was. Can you imagine? Shit. I mean, maybe I don't know Corey. About the clothesline shit, but <laughs> they, they would clothesline them, dude. Maybe Corey can make a comeback with these new rules. Yeah, they don't they don't tackle anymore, Corey. Hey, man, if they made a rule, hey, you can't touch me uh, until I get ten yards. <laughs> fuck yeah, I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> and trust me, man, when I get to the ten yards, I'm hitting the damn floor. Fuck. <laughs> He's like, I'm done. I'm, I'm out. Done. <laughs> All I know is, could you imagine back in his day, they, you're you're not allowed to hip drop, you're not allowed to all the. It'd be no, nobody would ever tackle year. Corey. Corey, you, you, you two thousand yards every, every yeah. year. Yeah, brother. I mean, hey man, you, hey, you guys gonna make me feel some type of way, man? Fuck, I wish, <laughs> I wish. And, and don't forget, Rebecca always likes to to bring up the magic uh, jock strap too. So you, you had, you'd have that Man, too. Hey, <laughs> hey! <laughs> I didn't do it. Rebecca did it. See, it wasn't my fault. <laughs> can, can, Jeff, can we talk hey, off well, hey. air? <laughs> like some, we we got to get a gag gift. Like there's probably like an LED jock strap out there, or we can do like glitter, or we like, gotta give this. We we'll give it to Corey at the draft party. <laughs> now, now, why are Rebecca talking about people balls and jock straps? What's, 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 what's that, man? Uh, this is a family show. <laughs> she said, I, yeah, I, apo she said I apologize. She's like, I apologize. I'm sorry, CD. I had to. Oh my God. Hey man. Don't you you bring it back, you bring it back nightmares. Don't don't do that to me. <laughs> don't do that, man. Don't. Uh, I was out there gun hole any goddamn way. What what jock strap? <laughs> I'm out. Fuck that. Why are you putting any balls in that jock strap? Are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. And cleaning uh, products were different back then too. So. Uh, they, hey man. <laughs> like do you do you realize they they have lotion now called man parts that you Rub, I mean, that work it, for them motherfuckers. <laughs> but they might not have looked so bad. Like, because cause you rub it, it goes on liquid, and man, then it dries hey, to bro, powder. You had, you had to spray paint them motherfuckers, man. <laughs> Fuck that, bro. No, no, and no. Oh, and Rebecca, man. you're foul. Bring that shit up today. That's, that wasn't cool. It was not cool. Uh, Who's having a good show? <laughs> a great show. Due to the jock straps came up, man. Uh, so, so that sounds like a, uh, 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 like a underwear subscription service by Corey Dillon. <laughs> They'll send you a new pair of drawers every month, so you never have to worry. Hey, man! Twice a week, bro. Fuck that. Twice? I don't know every month. 
Man, yeah. cat, hey man, hey, you gotta <laughs> sit, hey, cat, cat, cat go from Monday to well, not Monday. I would say Tuesday to Sunday. Man, I need a new jock strap every goddamn day, bro. <laughs> Hey, CDsDraws.com. CDsDraws.com. There it is, man. I can't. Hey, man, yeah. I need a fresh one every hey. day, bro. Hey, I don't bo- know. Your boy uh, Pork Chop here says, who make it be desolate for you, Corey? Oh, yeah. I'm going to work, wife. bro. Leave me alone. He's <laughs> <laughs> going to work. Chris, but, leave but, me alone, man. What's wrong with you, man? Why, why didn't I think of this before? We could have you, a whole line of CD we could, products. Yeah, we could brought this up to me. You, 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 you better know, not bring it up there. You can have the legend strap. Y'all better stay. You can have the legend 28 jock strap. Mixed nuts. CD's nuts. He left. Corey left. Hey, man. Y'all, y'all feel the same, man. <laughs> I, hey man, oh. I knew, I knew this was gonna turn on me. <laughs> the, the next, the next game you come to, we're gonna have a whole line of mocked up products for you to rate. <laughs> on heavy or model, not. You're heavy model, Corey. Oh, no, 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 no. We don't need not modeling, but I, I want to get reactions. To, well, I didn't even necessarily mean put it on. Just take a picture with it, like. Oh, yeah. Oh my God! I knew this shit was coming, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, hey, man, it's all good, man. It's all good. Oh man, gotta be coughing. Oh good. All right, so let's try to get this back on the rails. So it is uh, uh, March Madness, and uh, I don't know if you guys filled out any brackets. I did. I'm doing okay. I'm not doing great. Did you, did you fill out any brackets, Corey, for March Madness? No, nah, man. You know what? Or? Honestly, I don't really start watching to like the Sweet 16, bro. Okay. You know? yeah. That's, yeah. that's when that's it started getting interesting. Right. So, I I haven't even, I, you know, I caught some of bits and pieces of some games, man, but I ain't really caught a full game. And from what I'm hearing, you know, I wake up every day and turn on first tape. From what I'm hearing, like, the lady games are more exciting than, than the men. Dude, I was or, actually I was watching the lady games, the girls games last night. It, it was uh, Stanford and uh, Iowa State, and wow. dude, that thing was going down. They they can freaking shoot, dude. Down that to was the going wire, down, right? Yeah, it was down to the wire. I was like, man, I was like, I don't know, one thirty my time. I'm like, I gotta go to bed. <laughs> right. But it was fun to watch. I mean, they, they, they've actually been. I think some of the games have been more fun than than the guys' games, to be honest. Yeah, man. So I mean, it that that's I mean, there's there's this girl from USC. That girl's a baller, man. Juju something, man. That mm-hmm. that girl lights it up. Um, they got the then, girl from Iowa, which I can't. Um, can't Caitlin, remember her name. is it Caitlin? Yeah, Caitlin. Yeah, Caitlin. Um, oh man, shit, she's okay, modern man. day female Steph Curry out there, man. Uh-huh. She she give you buckets. So mm-hmm. it's 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 fun, and exciting, and then you you know what? You got the Yukons of the world. You got the South Carolinas that's, you know, balling. And then you got, shoot, LSU, mm-hmm. the bad girls. You know what I mean? So they champions last year. Yeah, man. So it's it's going to be exciting. I, I, I would love to sit there and, and see that. That's Sweet 16 as well. So, you know what? I'm just going to hold off before I start, you know, casting any aspersions until they both get into the, the round of 16 and, See what yeah, happens. Caitlin Clark. Clark, that was her name. Yes, that's Dude, it. That's Caitlin it. Caitlin Clark. Yeah, exactly. Um, so for me, for the men's, I got I got uh, uh, UConn. Oh, this whole awesome. thing because they got that seven foot dude, and he is balling out. And people can't Bearcat fans. We can't stand uh, Danny Hurley because he used you know we used to be in the same conference. But I kind of like him a little bit because he is a Bengals fan. But I mean, I think beyond that, I think UConn and and Houston. I mean, Houston almost. They were in a dogfight yesterday with with Texas A and M. Texas A and M came back with I think it was point eight or point four and hit a three pointer to tie the thing up and send it to overtime yesterday. When it's all team, yeah, yeah. That that's to me that that's the most fun part about uh, college basketball and, and the dance is the last second shots. You know, the, the teams out of nowhere that that make a run, and that that's what makes college basketball right. fun. And we've got more of that now, I think, this year because of of the the transfer portal, guys. Yeah, like, parity in, in college basketball is a little different too, man. Well, yeah, Kentucky go down. The one dude hit what ten out of twenty threes for Oakland, 
I mean, he was killing it. Now they turned right. around, lost, lost the next day. But I mean, those are those are things that you 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 find now in college basketball that you really didn't see. There were upsets, but you know, for a long time we had we had the one and done. So you always wanted to get that 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 NBA player. He you know, he's gonna be there for one year. Get a couple of those guys, and and they're gonna be the champions. Well, now with everybody, you know, the COVID year and everybody moving around and stuff, you got guys who are get paid in college now, so they'll stay longer. And they're 22, 23 years old, right. going against 18, 19 year olds. Now, when this 18 or 19 year old who's a NBA prospect is 22, 23, he's going to be better than that guy. But right now, that guy's probably as good or better than the 18 or 19 year old is now. So it makes it a little bit more even. That's true. And, and you know what? They got, man, I don't know who this dude is, but this is one big, tall motherfucker, man. That dude from Purdue. Oh, yeah. Edie. Edie. Oh, Lord yeah. have mercy. I'm like, yo, he might be the he might be the number one overall pick, man. Uh he yeah, I think this is it. I think it's last year. Giant yeah, Paps here says the guy beats Kentucky that sends an I an idea with B dubs the next day. Love to see it. I didn't know that. That's the guy who, not, who hit on the three point. Not bad, not bad yeah. at all. Can when you say you're from the college of Oakland, you think Oakland, California, but Oakland's actually in Michigan. <laughs> so Man, I thought it was from the Bay too, man. Hey, yeah. good information. <laughs> yeah. Well, they said the funny thing is they said that coach, he's been I think he's the longest tenured coach. He's been there at in at Oakland since nineteen eighty four. That's a hell of a long time to be a basketball coach in one Damn. spot. Yeah. Holy man. Yeah. We we were what, nine? <laughs> Damn, that's forty plus something. Damn. Yeah. He's you been in the same spot. Yeah. Been in the same spot. I guess so. Exactly. That's that's exactly. that's hey, that's longevity for your ass. I tell you that right there. <laughs> All right, one more quick thing I'll, I want to talk about before we I'll let you guys go. This happened while I was on vacation. The Bengals got a right tackle. They got Trent Brown, one year deal. Corey, how, what's your thoughts on Trent Brown? We have two of the biggest tackles in fo- football. They're both six eight, over three hundred pounds. We we got we got, we got what, what could Brown do for you? We got Trent Brown and we got Orlando Brown. Hey, bro, it's all about protecting that that guy, man. Mm-hmm. You got to protect him. So, you know what? They went out. They they did a great job, a matter of fact, of, of getting getting that, that guy some protection. And, and that's where it starts. It starts up front, man. So, as long as he's protected, man, that gives him gives him room to operate and, and do his thing. So, that's an A-plus right there. Yeah, if you guys want to check out some uh, O-line video on it, Joe Goodberry did – a really good thing on his uh, bangle on the brain this week. Go check that out and, and uh, look how good Trent Brown looked. Cap, what's your, excuse me, what's your thoughts on getting Trent Brown? I knew it was coming. Not necessarily Trent Brown specifically, but every offseason, Bengals fans freak out. Mm-hmm. Like, we ain't doing enough. We ain't doing enough. And then, boom, we, we do something. So, I, I, knew, I knew they were going to shore up the O-line. I knew that was right. a priority. I've right. been quiet. I've been working on other projects because I knew they were going to take care of business. So there you go. We, we got right tackle. Uh, the complaints about him having injuries or whatever, like I'm not worried about any of that because it's the same type of stuff that some coaches tried to say about Andrew Whitworth. He was getting too old. He didn't have a whole lot left, blah, blah, blah. He goes to LA and proves everybody wrong and mm-hmm. then wins a – damn ring in our face mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. yeah trent brown he, he could have his best year yet in cincinnati right and uh he's excited to play uh with and for burrow you know and then we've got the uh you know gasecki signing yep so now officially i do not have the worst gritty in cincinnati <laughs> thank you mike gasecki <laughs> exactly that man we should we should You've try seen to... that right Corey? i've seen it bro we should, oh. we should try to get uh, get him and you to do a, a gritty off and see who does it worst. <laughs> oh, it's him. It's him. The, 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 now, now maybe he's been working on it, but he's just wa- like speed walking bent down. Like, there's no bounce. There's no bounce, bounce he, to that he, he at all. You like, said he ain't got the rhythm? Yeah, I've got rhythm. <laughs> I just – okay. So, everybody was clowning. Listen, Corey. So, <laughs> I did something – what was it? I was down for Skyline. They were they were filming something. I'd never done a gritty in my life. It was awful. Watch Jamar. Never it practiced awful. it. Never. They're like, hey, can you do the gritty? <clears throat> it was and terrible. I'm like, I'll try. I, you know, let me look on YouTube real quick. 
So I'm looking at little little tiny ass phone trying. I'm like, I is he drag? Is it just kind of like dragging the heel? He thought, like, it, was, he thought it was a stanky like, leg. Is what he thought it was. <laughs> no, no, I didn't do terrible. But there I am sitting, like second row, and my phone's buzzing. And I look down. I'm at the game. Right, right. And backup running back Travion Williams is DMing me with crying laughing emojis <laughs> because ESPN put out a video and I'm in it with my bad and the whole video was bad gritties and I'm in uh -huh. it. Oh, no. And I'm like, Travion, like uh, don't you I thought like, we were listen, to, listen to coach. Like, <laughs> where am I getting? Man, I have got to redeem myself, but uh Gesicki's got me beat. Cap, you made you made the 10 horrible gritty dance. <laughs> yeah, I did. I'll, I'll find oh you the clip. God. I'll find you the clip. You'll be crying. It's embarrassing <laughs> as hell. It was my first ever attempt, though, in my defense. Yeah, oh, man, I wouldn't worry about it. I wouldn't worry about it. I man. used to, I was a president of the breakdance club at Ohio State University for one year. Man, are you, oh, you know how to pop lock and all that good stuff? Yes, huh? sir. See, I, I grew up I, watching I, Breaking, I, Breaking hey. Two, Wild Style, Beat Street. Oh yeah. Hey, hey, man. hey, hey, he got, hey, he got a little, he got a little chocolate in him. I, I <laughs> he's got a little, a little, bit, little, he's got a little chocolate, man. Little That's chocolate. what I'm talking about, Cab. I knew it. I yep. knew it. Uh, all right. On that note, I think I'm gonna end this, boys. We can do this again next week. Oh wait, you know we're one month away from the draft. I, I, I can't believe it. It's getting closer. It's getting closer. I can't oh, believe. and and I forgot the Patriots coming to Cincinnati to play. So depending on when, Corey, that would that, be a great game. That the would Ring be. of Honor induction for Corey yes. Dillon. Yes, that's the date. There you go. I hope I hope the schedule works out. Uh -huh. Dude, that would be. Hey man, I'll be like, all the stars will be lined up. That would be crazy, dude. Yep. Exactly. No way. So, hey, regardless, so, regardless, I'm going to make it to that game. Hell yeah. I don't give a yeah. what when it is, whatever. If I got to come back to, right. back to back to back to back to back. Yeah. And I got your ticket saved then. There you go. There it is. And you there come it kick it at, at the at the uh, tailgate that I was going to tell you about every weekend that may or may not happen. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We, 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 we have to keep that on the download. I don't think I even told Cappy. I haven't told anybody yet. We have to, we have to, we have to wait and see what happens. What, what's going on? You you, you were holding information? No, I texted you and told you this weekend. Oh, okay. I, I got to get back in the in the group chat. Yeah. I my, literally, <laughs> I got to work. I, I'm sitting here. I got it. <laughs> there it is. Okay. Hey, 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 all right, man. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look at the thread, bro. I, it, it's the one I sent directly to you. I don't think I sent it to everybody. I told a couple people. So yeah. Okay. Okay. I, okay. I'll tell. I'll tell. I'll tell Cap afterwards. Right, we're up. telling secrets at the end of the show. Everybody's exactly. gonna be like, nah, no, nobody's nobody's watching right now anyway. It's okay. <laughs> Corey, I appreciate you always. The greatest running back in Bengals history. That guy right there. And hey, Corey, the motherfucker. I'm gonna fuck you up, man. Yeah! <laughs> greatest running back. <laughs> he's like, he's like, I know where you live, Ice. All right, yeah, I, I know where you live, man. I'm gonna go put one of them old ass jock straps on your head. Oh my god. Dude, every time you're you like, bring that why, up, why is Hazmat dude. Cruz outside my my mailbox? Dude, I every time you bring that jock, I always think of the movie Nerds, and they actually put the jock hey, strap I on. I have a thousand old jock strap hanging up around your house, man. Well, why we're like, what the hell? I'm like Corey did it. Not my fault. Oh my god, I'm just fucking with you. Uh, <laughs> all right, Corey, I'm gonna let you go on that note. I'll see you next Monday, brother. You I will be right here, Cap. Outside. Always a pleasure seeing you, brother. See ya. All right. I love that dude. I know I said that oh time. man, I do. he's, he's awesome. a riot. He's you awesome. know what? And and seeing it like him and means, mm -hmm. like it's just warms your heart. Like seeing good dudes supporting good dudes. It's oh man, exactly. It's yeah. Awesome. Any anybody that knows any any, I'm sorry, but if you know any pieces of shit that you think you have to support, or you've got to be friend. No, cut them out. Cut them out. Of your, this is 2024. If there's anybody who, who would not support you like you support them, go on. Go on. Hey, y'all. Yep. So, real quick, I want to ask you something. With the This is where I'm kind of going back and forth on. I know you don't do a whole lot of draft stuff, but this is just with them signing Trent Brown. I, I still think they're drafting a right tackle. I don't know if they're necessarily drafting one at, at 
at 28 now. Or, excuse me, 18. First I'm round's not, not going to happen. Yeah, I think it's going to be more of the interior guy, Bryant or um, the other one. I can't think of his name. There's two guys, and hopefully one of them's there. If one of them's there, I think they're t- taking, him, taking them. Unless something weird happens with how the uh, how the draft breaks, because it right. can always happen. Right. It will be an interior big guy. That's what I think. Offense yeah. or defense, it's going to be an interior big guy. I think it's going to be interior defense line if they can get them. And then I think 28 or yeah, 40, or 49, whatever the second round pick is, it's going to be uh, an offense lineman there. Because I think they got to still get one because Brown is only signed, Trent Brown's only signed for one year. So they got to have somebody to, I mean, who knows, maybe they resign Trent Brown for another year after next year. I don't know, but I still need to get I mean, somebody there. I mean, Trent Brown's going to have a <clears throat> Cincinnati yeah. Lombardi. Mm-hmm. So he's going to be motivated come to come yeah. back for. Number. Yeah, that's who it is. Ooh. Yeah, Newton. That, that was the other guy I was talking about. Sorry. Yeah, New, Newton. Uh, Bryant or Newton? I think if one of them's there, I think they're taking them. But what? What? We got one month away. Let's get here quick. Hey, are you gonna be? Uh, you coming down for a Reds opening day? We got. I am. Cool. Well, then you know you should stop by, right? Well, you you told me something about uh, rooftop, but that's changed. That changed. We're doing the Moorline House. Okay. It's at, it's at the Moorline House now. It's out right out front there. I, I got all this confirmed. Uh, last Saturday before I went on vacation. So, Greg, the owner, is awesome. He's going to allow me to broadcast live from in front of the Moorline house. They got that bar there, and they got a little open area. So, hopefully, it's not going to be free. It should be like 56, 58 degrees. Uh, it kind of gets a little windy there, maybe. So, it might not be too, that that bad. But, anyway, it's Red's opening day. Come hang out. You, you show up, and you're, you're – ca- I want to see the Captain Red Red's gear. You know, do we have a Captain Red's hat? You know, do you have- I – you know, I, I won't I won't do it because there are so many. You know, I, I'm not saying that I wear the the Bengals suit because I'm a I'm a better Bengals fan. It's just I've always been a hardcore nut Bengals fan, and I'm becoming a better Reds fan. I know mm-hmm. I know there are hardcore fanatic Reds fans. Mm-hmm. One of them, if they want to start that stuff, be my guest. But it's it's not going to be me. I you know I don't deserve it. I haven't earned it. But, man, I shouldn't tell y'all. Mm-hmm. Oh. Can we get some juicy details? Well. Well. Not everybody. Most people aren't watching in Columbus. So, uh, uh, nobody, Costco, nobody, watches, nobody watches the show anyway. It's fine. Oh, no. A lot of people do. But I got to <laughs> grab something real quick and show you. All right. I'm waiting. I'm waiting with bated breath. But. Costco. Yes. Mm-hmm. Twenty nine dollars. Yeah. Ooh. I like and it. for for all the all the fights about the new jerseys and, and the Nike jerseys mm-hmm. being mm-hmm. trash. Yeah. These are the uh, these are majestic. Mm-hmm. These are the old majestic. Oh, thirty nice. bucks. There you go. At Costco. Costco. We'll have to go we'll have to stop by and get them. I couldn't believe it. So, hell yeah, I'm ready. There you go. All right, Kat, well, let's get this one, one question here. Uh, you, you, you can answer it. What's your thoughts on us signing Tyler Boyd? Did we I, sign? I've been saying it from the start. Like, did I we can't, sign him yet? I, did that happen while we were it, on the show? <laughs> no. It, yeah. um, Not that I, 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 did, I didn't see anything specific, but, like, will we? You've I know, I know he wants to be back. Forever. I know we want yeah. him back. Mm-hmm. It's just at, at what price? But I just don't. I'm gonna hate it if he goes to the Steelers. That's that's gonna. Ugh. I'm not gonna like that. At all. Yeah, we'll we'll see. But there there've been a couple people, uh, want to be want to be media outlets that have kind of tried to trash me for for that. I try to correct them. Like, don't don't be putting stuff out there that he's done with the Bengals. That is not true. He loves Jamar and T. Mm-hmm. Dude, they're friends. And, they're and legit Joe. friends. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, they're the legit. Boys. I mean, that's powerful. He, mm-hmm. No, he's not going to get cheated. Mm-hmm. He's not going to come in for league minimum. Mm-hmm. But uh, you know, he, he weighing his options with with Kenny in in Pittsburgh, it was pretty much a no. I could have guaranteed absolutely not with Kenny. Um, it's a little different now that they've got a, a couple of quarterbacks who are slightly better than Kenny. But again, <laughs> you know, they're they're going to go. They want to be more of a run. Oriented offense, from what I'm hearing, mm-hmm. and you know Tyler wants to catch the football. 
Hey, yeah, and- c- catch some uh, some more uh, touchdowns in the uh, Super Bowl for us, and come out of uh, Nolans with a Nolans. Bengals trophy. Make, yeah. make me make me get in our tattoo. Make me finish this one. Make me finish this. Oh yeah, one. exactly. Hey, I'm down for Sean Tyler. I hope they do. And uh, for all you Pittsburgh fans, I- I'm not scared. You got Russell, old ass Wilson, and you got Justin Fields. Who I love, Justin Fields. But now I don't like you because you're a sealer. Um, but yeah, I'm still not scared. We'll see. I think nah, it's, it's, nah, still, we, we, it's still our division. Healthy, healthy Burrow. We can still the the Ravens got weaker. Mm-hmm. I I can't believe. I mean, the Ravens. They I, I think they're going to have a, a rude awakening this year. The Steelers got better, but they still don't have their answer quarterback. Mm-mm. Uh, and, and the Browns are going to Brown. Well, well they're the Browns. But yeah. <laughs> It runs through Cincy, baby. It does. Who day? All right, Cap. On that note, I'm going to let you go, brother. We'll we'll do this again next Monday. Yes, sir. Hey, I'll see you Thursday. All righty. See you. Later. See you. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Like I said, please come down and join me Thursday, Reds opening day. We're doing a live broadcast outside Moorline House, right there in front of it. Got a bar real close by. We got some special guests. Have some fun guys show up. It's definitely gonna be me, Joe Farsing, Tim Gannon from the Riverfront. Cat might show up. Memes might show up. Maybe some other Bengal players. I might have some former Reds on Zoom call. Maybe I have, might have a current Red on a Zoom. We'll see. I got some stuff in the, in the works. Um, nothing's narrowed down, so that's why I can't exactly say who it's gonna be. But that's why. Show up. You never know who's gonna be there. My shout out and thanks to the sponsors of the show, Meyer Door and Window, best window and door company in the tri-state area. I got them in my house. They keep, like I said, to keep the ice cave nice and warm down here. They're easy to clean. They look great. They get free estimates. Go check them out for all your door and window needs. Midwest best barbecue, delicious barbecue. I love their pulled pork sandwich. The Uno wings, CTB wings are phenomenal. There's not a thing there I don't like. Their cornbread is good. Their mashed potatoes, their, uh, uh, not mashed potatoes, their uh, mac and cheese is good. They are absolutely delicious. Go check out my West Side peeps. Go to Chivwa. That is Chiviet. Check out Hell Mary's. Your ticket to the game. They have great beer specials there. There, they have a giant, and I mean giant, the whole wall of TVs. You can watch your games there. It's right in the heart of Chiviet. So it is an awesome place. Go check it out. I freaking there a lot. Other than that, you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the thumbs up, subscribe. I've been live streaming on ZTV, Facebook, YouTube, X, Rumble. If you listen to it on podcast, what's up? It's on Beanpot, Apple iTunes, Spotify, Google, Stitcher Play. Pretty much wherever you get your podcast. Please make sure you rate, like, and review. Leave a five star review and a comment some more since they fans can find my podcast. You can follow me on all those along with Instagram, TikTok, and Threads. This has been a lot of fun. I miss you guys. I was on vacation, but now I'm back. Better than ever. And the Reds are going to go on a playoff run. And then the Bengals are going to go on a Super Bowl run. And you still got FC Cincinnati. They got to go win the Cup, too. So it's a great time to be a Cincinnati fan. Ready? Throw it up. And that's your sports, baby. See ya!